Hello YouTube, it's Hodge here with an unboxing for the Olympus Stylus SH1. Um, this has just turned up this morning and I wanted to take a quick look at it. Um, I don't really know anything about it, but it's a really neat looking compact by the looks of it. Um, styling like the, um, the Olympus Pen camera. Um, so I thought I'd um, open it up, show you what's in the box and uh, have a look at the camera. So um, let's have a look to see what it's got. So it's got a 24 times optical zoom. Um, with um, a stabilizer that looks like they're shouting about, so that's good. Um, full HD video at 60p, um, which is nice to see on a compact. Uh, I know this one's 299, so price-wise, you're you're up there with your sort of premium big zoom ones. So um, it's pretty competitive and it's brand new, so um, it might even come down a little bit. Um, on the side of the box, you've got all that jazz, some stuff uh, that comes in it. Um, it's got the uh, 25mm wide angle, um, 60 megapixels, all pretty sander stuff. It's got the Wi-Fi built in, which pretty much everything does now. Um, Stylus branding on that side, and on the bottom is a lot of text. Um, you can pause it if you want it. Uh, oh, um, so the branding for their Wi-Fi stuff is iFi, which is uh, quite cool. Um, I haven't seen iFi in a little while. So let's uh, open it up and see what's inside. So I always think about um, Olympus cameras is that uh, their styling is beautiful. They probably make the nicest looking cameras out of anyone, uh, bar the GX7. But that's because I've got one and I love it. Um, but just the menu systems are, are a bit odd and um, some of the layouts aren't quite well thought out, but the cameras are excellent. Um, there you get a worldwide guarantee, which is nice from Olympus. They give you a two year guarantee, but it's everywhere, not just Europe. Um, set up CD. Um, installation, things like that. Um, basic manual, which is in many different languages. It just says this is a camera. Um, uh, yeah, use it. Um, okay, what else have we got in here? So it comes. It's a, it's an Olympus stylus, and it comes with a stylus for the touch screen, um, which is nice. I guess it's a touch screen then. Uh, you get a standard USB cable, you get the battery, which I'll save to one side because we'll use that in a second, and you get a power cable. Uh, anything else in here? This is just, uh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 some more stuff. Right, rest of the power pack. So it charges out of the camera, um, uh, sorry, inside the camera, so power pack, USB, all that jobby, and you get a European power okay, cable. I guess it makes sense if it's got a worldwide warranty. And you get a strap as well. Okay, so really odd packaging to this little cardboard insert getting in my way. Um, but here is the camera. There we go. Let's see if I see it properly. It looks really, really neat actually. I like the look of that. That's uh here we go. Bring it up close for you. There you go. So the lens is uh is nicely centered. But yeah, that slight slight curved design. Really, really reminiscent of their pen cameras. Um let's take a look around it. On the side we've got a HDMI port in the little flap. HDMI and that's going to be the USB cable as well. Um, on the back we've got um, okay um, uh, continuous shooting, we've got the flash button, exposure comp and then the other one's been left blank for some reason. You've got menu and the Wi-Fi on one go. Info playback and the little stylus branding, a uh, little switch there to pop the pop up flash up as well. Flash, just there, that looks really neat. Um, on that side, it is left absolutely blank. Um, on the bottom, that's the battery and memory card slot, and you've just got all of the standard bump. Um, let's pop the oh, sorry, on the top, 
you've got stereo mics, uh, it says about the Wi-Fi, it says about the uh, 5 axis image stabilizer, um, you've got all your standard modes there, and a handheld uh, twilight mode by the looks of it, which I'm guessing is going to be what the stabilizer really comes in handy for. Um, art filters as well which some people quite like on these um, you've just got manual and P um, so I'm guessing if you go into manual chances are that's where you'll find your um, shutter speed and aperture priority but we'll have a look at that when I turn it on now so let's stick the battery in um, to focus there we go so I'm using, I just picked up for my, um, for my Panasonic, I just picked up the 14 to 42 little power zoom, um, which I'm using for the first time. I just had the 20 mil up until then. Um, so I can, ooh, I can zoom, um, which is just neat, novel for me. Um, and it's still getting to grips with it, so uh, forgive me if it's crap. Uh, Okay, so the battery. battery is the LI92B, which I think is a new battery. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't, uh, don't really get to play with a lot of Olympus stuff. Okay, so battery's in. Let's get it into focus. Uh, we are English. Um, I will set the time and date later. Oh, it makes a makes a chunky click. Um, ah, okay, so we're in manual. But how do you change the settings? No, that's neutral. Art filters are on the side there. No, that's continuous. Okay. Oh. Info. I have absolutely no idea how you change the settings. That's the zoom on the top there. There are no there are no dials for shutter speed and aperture. This isn't a ring. The touch screen shooting. No, that'll take a picture like it. Um, let's change that. Uh, okay, so you press up the exposure button there, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and then you press up, down, left and right to cycle through the options. So you've got two options of aperture, f3 or f8.7. Um, that's That's... That's really going to allow for, you know, creative control. Um, okay, that seems like it. Like, like I said earlier, so the design of the camera is beautiful. I really like how it looks, but using it in manual, that just seems really counterintuitive. Um, also, it looks like, as far as I can tell, program auto selective functions could be changed. So you press that. You've got exposure. Comp so you've only got full auto or program. I could be wrong on that. Um... But it looks to me like you don't have the option for for program or um, sorry for aperture or shutter speed priority. Um, these are your art filters. You've got soft focus, grainy film, pinhole, things like that, um, which quite people quite like. Um, different scene modes, and then yeah, handheld starlight reduces blur when shooting in low light. Um, so um, well, let's see what the lens looks like when it's out as well, and when it's fully zoomed in. So it's an interesting camera, I think, um, by the looks of it. A bit strange. I don't really know what they were going for with not putting um, aperture and shutter, but putting manual on, because uh, um, you know, sort of a lot of casual shooters will just uh, stick to aperture and shutter speed priority, because it's it's nice and easy. You get creative control, but you don't have to do all of the thinking. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. It feels really, really nice. Um, but yeah, not not entirely convinced by the menu system and some of the design choices um, for the layout. But um, I say if you're after sort of a compact camera that's well built, um, yeah, um, and, and that looks good, it's it's probably you know, style over substance. But I, I'd consider it for sure. Um, 
So that's that's pretty much all I've got to show. Um, if I have time, I'll try and grab some stills to put in or um, or upload a video of the, the video quality from it, considering it's 60p. Um, so I'll try and do that at some point today. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Um, take a look at the channel. There's plenty of unboxings there if you're after looking at um, a camera. Um, Follow me on Twitter, at Hodge underscore Unboxes, and keep checking back, because there'll be new stuff real soon. Um, I should be uh, getting D810 um, tomorrow as well. So, uh, thanks for watching again. Uh, that was the Olympus SH-1 compact camera, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.